Guys, how are you feeling? It's today. Amazing, we're buzzing. Exciting, Just waiting for it now, yeah. yeah. And also very hot as well. Yes. Yeah. Have you been around all weekend? Yeah, yeah. Six right. years, Dave. Okay, so you have been surviving like the rest of us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> With that in mind then, and what you've seen so far over this entire weekend, describe what you are going to do up there compared to what everybody else has done. Well, we're going to give it what we normally do, but, you know, we're going to... We're, gonna, we're a bit inspired by like, seeing a lot of our mates' bands mm -hmm. play over the past couple of days and then obviously all the bigger bands play as well. You can't give it the best show we've ever done at Bloodstock, where can you, you know? So. I think we're just going to remind everybody mm -hmm. why we're here yeah. and, yeah. And, um, bar even more. and try and pay them back for all the support that they've yeah. given us by giving them a, a hell of a good time. Have you noticed as well that the New Blood is regularly packed? Everyone yeah, is over we've, been there. we've been in there yeah. as well. Yeah. Yeah. Supporting it. Same for bits and everything. Yeah, yeah. It's been fun, yeah. 30 minutes flies by though. It really, really does. Are you going to try and make sure you have a moment, take a moment to drink it? Yeah, this is exactly one, of, one of the guys in the other bands was saying, wasn't he? He was sort of saying, you know, just try and lap up every minute of it because it just goes by like so quickly. Yeah. Uh, and try not to worry too much about the, uh, you know, oh, am I going to do this right? Am I going to do that right? Just, just live for the moment. It. Live for the moment. Yeah. Bigger bands. Bigger bands on the main stage have problems. If anything does come up, you just get thrown. Everybody forgets and just enjoys the damn good time. That's it. The journey here. The journey, not the actual, the little journey, but the journey to be in book and played uh, Bloodstock. Do you remember? Talk to us about that experience. Yeah, metal to the masses. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was it was an amazing experience. It was a lot, it was a long one. There's a lot of long waits between, a lot of nerves. Um, pressure. Great competition. Yeah, great pressure. Um, we got so much support from people who came along, and you kind of do feel a little bit of pressure of like if we don't do it, we'll be letting them down. Yeah. But well, then a lot of people travelling, hundreds yeah. of miles, people came to watch us. The final, yeah. and the final song all was over sold out, and everyone went absolutely nuts. And we probably did the best gig we've ever done easily. But I think if you take it back to the heats, like when we very, very first yep. embarked on the journey, if you like, um, we didn't really kind of go in with any prohibitions. We were just, you know what, let's just go and see what happens and just try and kind of learn from it. And I think we ultimately we, we've learned so much, yeah. in, you know, in how to carry ourselves, how to perform. Uh, you know, how to interact with the audience in a way that really sells it on a professional level. Yeah, I think the first heat performance versus the final was probably night and day. Yeah, yeah. It, it made you better, made you a better band. It made us a better band. I think the semi-final, we did get the barriers broken in the first song, yeah. so that was pretty cool. Did you? Oh, oh they tore oh, them out the floor! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was nailed into the floor and they ripped it up because the mosh pits were like crazy. Oh my. Well, yes. In the first song. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it's kind of bad. dream of, right, the moments, the memories, and the go, that actually that happened. Was, that was yeah. metal. The that guy who owned the venue didn't think so. No, yeah. This is uh, tagged us and was like, oh, great, great. That was great. So great, they break the barriers. <laughs> yeah. Didn't charge you, though. No, no, no. no, no. They, and they booked, they booked us back. Yeah, they booked us again. Yeah. Okay, so there you go. Yeah. It all worked out quite nicely. It worked out quite nicely then. What's the plan for the rest of the day after this? So do the set. It's going to be incredible. It's going to be hot. And then you're going to get to chill out. Is it just relax afterwards? I, I really want to see Dark Funeral. Ooh. And then we're all massive Lamb of God fans. Oh, okay, so there you go. Yeah. So. Basically then, once that the pressure's off, we've done our thing, we're probably just going to drink a lot and yeah, so get stuck live, in for live, yeah, live in merriment. And enjoy the moment, because Absolutely. that's what's necessary. But it's also not the culmination of a journey. It, it is for the Metal and Masters part, we know that. But what we don't want to see, we never want to hear, is us, oh, so we've done that. Don't worry about what, what comes next. Definitely, we've, we've already been, been talking each about it. Yeah. We sort of said we're here to work, and we're yeah. here to work on moving, you know, on, on to what's next. And we've chatted to some a lot of networking, a lot of networking, yeah. some really nice people like yourselves and what have you. And yeah, you know, this is an opportunity, not a holiday. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and we were just saying, you know, we're looking at sofa we're stage and saying, you know, you're next yeah. kind of thing. We want to, we want to work our way up. Well, that, that's the idea, right? And it that's happens it. all the time. The previous band we just interviewed started in 2016 in the New Blood. They're playing the Sofa stage there you go, today. Yeah, exactly. And other bands as well end up jumping to the main stage. So it's not impossible. It's going to yeah. take some work. So what is in the what's in the pipeline at the moment? What's maybe the rough plan you've got for 2022, the rest of it? Um, so we've got a lot of gigs. Mm -hmm. So we, we, we had a break before this because uh, our bass has had a baby. Fair and days. also we've, um, we are working towards a big release at the end. We've been writing and we're going to be recording. But we have got pretty much a gig every week. Week. And we're still writing at the moment year. as well, yep. so we've got some absolute belting new tunes coming okay. out. Yeah. Uh, not heard at all yet. We've barely heard them. Uh, <laughs> so they're going to be insane and you know really kind of you're really kind of setting the tone for where we're going musically as well. So the future is basically bright. Yes. Yeah. Can all the future's agree. orange. <laughs> future's orange. Future's sunburn, mate. That's what it is. Future's sun. Burns. Okay. Cool, guys. There we go. Thank you very much for taking Thank the time. Thank you.